Our customers are asking us why medical imaging equipment prices seem to be going up, and it is a good question. I've, I've never seen prices shift as much as they have in the last, let's say, 12 to 18 months. We're seeing pricing for, for standard systems, sort of middle of the road, double in some cases. Some of the reasons why costs are going up so high on medical imaging equipment is number one, there is a pent up demand uh, where factories, uh, manufacturers uh, were behind on production and struggling with production. And so now those who are in need of a piece of imaging equipment uh, are fighting for fewer pieces of, of inventory available to purchase. The second reason is that shipping costs around the world uh, and global supply chain issues are radically increasing the cost of getting this large machinery delivered around the world. Yeah, shipping for MRIs in many cases has tripled or quadrupled. And the third challenge we have right now is in part due to some of the government benefits that have come along that are impacting and supporting businesses, particularly in the United States, there are dollars to be spent on imaging equipment, and this is an ideal time for some facilities to consider an upgrade. You can't put off forever a buying decision just because the pricing is high right now. So with costs going up, what are some of the options that an end user considering a piece of medical imaging equipment might wanna consider? Recommendation number one, increasing your level of flexibility. If you know the ideal piece of equipment you want, but with the provider you're working with, you have flexibility on timing and maybe specifications, you may have an opportunity to pick up uh, a unique uh, opportunity that comes along to buy a specific piece of equipment that happens to be available. If we have a broad set of spec, you're gonna have a higher probability of finding a good opportunity out there than if we were given a very restrictive set of uh, specifications that we've got to go find. Uh, that's a recipe for paying a lot more. A second option is to just simply pad that budget with the additional dollars that are going to be required to get a piece of equipment. Over the next couple of months, we think by the end of Q1, early Q2, we'll see some softening of pricing as some of the shipping and global supply issues begin to be resolved in our industry.